Welcome back to Air Hauler 2, episode 41. We're just going to jump right into it here as we've got a lot to cover. Uh, we've been banging out a lot of jobs um, by we, of course, I mean Daisy and Jessica. Uh, they're just hammering away. And when we look at our company info, when we go to the finances, we can see that, yeah, they are stacking chips for us uh, pretty hardcore. So in the last little bit, we've been adding more money, building up that foundation. Again, we still have the two bases, the two planes, and the two pilots. Now, it would be a lot easier to just buy another Bonanza, buy and, and buy, hire another pilot, and really get ourselves moving. But I just can't do it. We're so, so close. 889,000, right? Yes, spend another 273,000, drop back down to 600K, hire a third pilot, probably bang out some serious coin pretty quick. But I really, 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 really want to get that turbo prop first. Um, and so because of that, it's, uh, it's causing me to drag my heels a little bit. So got to make up another 100K. Uh, but for fun, what we can do is we can see that we've got uh, Jessica f finishing her unloading here at KPSP. Now... Daisy was doing a couple of hauls up to KMHV and I wasn't able to arrange the any return cargo uh, but these were higher value items Jessica's yeah Jessica's finishing her unloading so we've got nothing on board and Daisy uh, is on her way back now when you go and you look at the cargo job you will see that cargo locations right uh, if we look at uh, KNZ wide there is six pounds so that's one gallon of fuel that she took with her uh, but there is six pounds that has to go back so I'm gonna steal some advice that I got in the for in the comments uh, in the form of if you do the final part of a delivery your reputation will get a full 1.0 instead of a 0.2 so hey this is a great idea and we're going to leverage it here but first what we need to do is while she's flying back we're going to take the plane from psp uh, and we're going to look at some other jobs and the reason for this is i noticed that there's a knzy up to kont now it's not much money 5700 but it's pretty light, only 575 pounds. So add the six pounds, we're just over 600 pounds, uh, and it's kind of on the way. So why not make an extra 5,700 bucks uh, flying in the same direction? Now, when we look at what's available from KPSP, so there's some frozen fish, but that goes up to the northeast. You got the glass that's going up further to the northwest, pretty far away, uh, and it's a lot of weight. Now, when we go and we look at, say, KLGB, 700 pounds of ice kind of in the direction we're going it could be an option to actually pick up this weight even though we're going to go haul it all the way down to KNZY then pick up the KONT uh, as well um, but that puts us into the 1200s we we could load up um, and then probably have to actually uh, make fuel stops uh, as as we went along. So go up the coast and make a couple of, of fuel stops on the way. So it's an option. Um, there's the machine parts up to KLGB. So really, 
what we're doing here is just trying to see if there's anything um, that we could leverage. So there's also OQ4, uh, 560 pounds. So we could grab this, and this might be a, a, a fun one to have. And now it is going to take us uh, from KMHV. Uh, we will have to fly a little ways out there. But this does allow us just the ability to stack up and just add more uh, to our single job and see if we can give ourselves a little bit of a bump. We're just gonna look at the last few and it doesn't look like there's much else. All right, so what we'll do is we'll accept this job and then we're gonna accept the baby toys up to Ontario. We've accepted that job. Now, when we go to our cargo jobs, we literally are needing for this one. Oh no, it finished. Never mind. We are excellent. We are unloaded. All right, so that means we are good to go. Excellent. So, what we want to do is go to my cargo jobs. We are going to go and we're going to say, we're going to pick up the KPSP and we are going to fly this now. And we need November 9092 Tango. Now we will load this on board. Now, if we look at our depot, we see we have 492 pounds of fuel available here in the depot. So let's go ahead and we'll give ourselves. Currently we got 15, so fuel to load, give ourselves 30 gallons. We'll go ahead and click OK. 85 pounds fuel loaded from the depot. Uh, too many waypoints, too many DBs. All right, so we'll say there. And then from there, we'll say OQ4. And this should just give everything uh, this needs. Or we'll say we'll move it 10.5, so good enough. So we need to go into the simulator and we need to load up the aircraft with 730 pounds and 30 gallons of fuel. So we've now got our 730 pounds and our 30 gallons of fuel. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. That way we can hop back into the sim. That all right, so for this one, we're actually going to fly this on Batsim. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and file this uh, flight plan. So our flight plan is filed. And what's great about that is we'll see if we get any traffic from uh, LAX uh, Center uh, as we depart out of the valley and head back in. Uh, they may not care to talk to us because they may just say whatever, we're gonna do this VFR anyway. Uh, but we'll do it uh, online. So as we can see with our VATSIM client, uh, we're connected and we can see a few people, uh, well, centers that are currently online. All right, well, we don't wanna delay too long get ourselves into any kind of trouble. So let's go ahead and hop into our sim and get ourselves fired up. All right, well, first things first, we want to get ourselves uh, in 
into the cockpit. And there we are. We will get rid of our yolks. And we're going to go ahead and fuel power mixture idle and fuel pump. Three, two, one. And power goes off. So fuel pump is off. We are primed. Let's get that throttle all the way back. And we have our flaps off. All right. Make sure nobody is uh, in our way. Clear prop. There we go. All right. Power is up. Make sure our parking brake is on. We're over here by signature uh, on the ramp. Get our avionics power on, taxi light on, panel, uh, beacon panel, nav. Okay, avionics off, avionics on. There we go. Let's go ahead and get our ATIS. Palm Springs Airport information, Victor. 2202, Zulu. Wind 2908 at 7. Visibility greater than 20 miles. Sky condition, ceiling 12000, broken. Temperature 32, 2.2. Altimeter 2986. Visual, runway 31, right and visual, runway 31, left in use. All right, so we got the three ones. Alright, so we have information Victor, and let's just get our tower prepped as well. Alright, so we're going to need to flight plan now. Uh, P. SP Palm Springs Yeah, JLI perfect and then we're going to go to KNZY So at Palm Springs Load a procedure, we want our departure. Alright, 
So we may be able to cut off the MRUD. We'll see how the climb goes. And we will go from there. Okay. Looking over our wing, we look clear. Go ahead and we're gonna put our taxi lights on and we'll get our pedo heat on for now as well. Let's go ahead and get ourselves moving. Yikes. That's what I get for looking away. All right, well, since we don't have somebody on tower here, we'll type it. So we have notified them. We will enable our mode C. We are squawking 1200 BFR. Excellent. All right. So, landing light goes on, taxi light goes off, nose recognition, we will leave the strobes off. And we will make our way out and onto the runway. A little bit close. A little bit close right now. And we're just going to do a rolling start. Power goes full, prop is full, mixture is rich, heels on the floor. And takeoff power is set. And let's just go ahead. Have a look outside, tap the brakes. Gear is going up. back inside. All right, so altitude, we're gonna climb up to our 8,500 the best we can. As we approach uh, PSP VOR, we now have to make a decision what we do at the Palm Springs VOR at this point. We've got, uh, if we go out, we've got a pretty good path. We're already at 4,900. If we increase the power, as we've lost a little bit of power as we've climbed, this point we probably could skip the rest of the Emrud run so the departure that takes us to Emrud for um, safety uh, to allow us to climb further so what we'll do now is we'll go back into our flight plan and what we'll do is we will uh, delete and we will delete the MRUD and now when we go back to our map we will see that now we are going to start the turn and head that way Ah, oh. and of course we are on VATSIM but currently, at the moment, 
uh, center went offline. So we've lost LAX Center. Oh, no, nope. LAX Center's back online. So center is at 125.8. San Diego, I have Chicago here. Thank you. Now sixteen forty three, climb and maintain by the three four zero. Because 321 ready for the takeoff, 25, right. United 321 on now, United 321 on now, Docker, wind 24012, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. Los Angeles, Los Angeles Center, Beach, uh, Beach Bonanza, November 9092 Tango, 8,500 on my VFR flight plan. All right, well, with that, I guess we won't have to uh, worry about it. Checked in, good enough. Number 9092 Los Angeles, are you uh, Affirmative. Yeah, 321 is airborne at uh, 1500, climbing 5000. Number 9092 Tango, are you airborne? Affirmative. November 9092 Tango is airborne, 8500, nine miles south of. PSP at this point. Hey, what's your request? I was just checking in. That's all. 9092 Tango. Okay. Your VFR, your VFR, you don't unless you want flight following. Affirmative. I would like flight following if possible. He's going to go 92 Tango, squad 7164. 7164, remember 9092 Tango. Watch Nancy Twitter. Thanks. Nancy 21 Radar, contact her and left direct clipper. Join the ARCA 3 departure, climb and maintain 13000. Left direct clipper, join the ARCA 3 departure, um, climb and maintain 
one three thousand air three three one. Uh, 4253, wind 240012, runway 24 right, clear to land. Clear to land, southwest 4253. Los Angeles Center, key line 3307 is Alpha 5, with Charlie, ready to taxi. Uh, 3307, runway 25, taxi via Alpha Fox, truck. 25 left, Alpha Fox for uh, 3307. Five zero two Fox, start ready to the two left. Excellent. So we've got our flight following. We are squawking seventy one sixty four. Remember, uh, five zero two Fox, trot. I am hyper. Wind two four zero one two, runway two five left, clear for takeoff. Two five left, clear takeoff. Zero two Fox, trot. All right, so we'll turn the landing light off at this point. Two nine nine three, November nine zero nine two Tango. Thirty three oh seven is short two public. Thirty three oh seven, only two five left line of flight. All right, so here is where we'll go to our flight plan. We'll go here, then we'll go direct, direct, activate, and that will cut us onto our direct path now. Foxtrot out of 2000, 3000. Let's just Foxtrot, radar contact. Climb and maintain 1 3000. 1 3000, zero two Foxtrot. Three two one, climb maintain flight level two nine zero. Climb maintain two nine zero. Three two one. Southwest 4283, welcome to Los Angeles, cross 2 for left. Taxi east on Echo to Terminal 1. Thanks for flying with us. Southwest 
On a three for EO seven, part of uh, Hyper Wind two four zero one two runway two five left clear for takeoff. Part of Hyper two five left clear for takeoff. Feeling thirty three oh seven. Five zero two Fox Trot climb maintain level two four zero. Two four zero five zero two Fox Trot. Alaska six thirteen in the airspace to the North Radar Service Terminator to go to change preview from the centers off line of the flight. All right, I'll consider must be sleep. I'll see you at 613. 2133.07 uh, through 1,000 after 5,000. 2133.07, they were contact. 2133.13,000. 2133.13,000, Kilo 3307. So it's a lot busier. When you factor in having all that extra chatter going on, you're looking out for the Very 2042 users. cross school, we fly level, uh, cross school, we fly level 250. School 250, American 24. So yeah, it, it definitely keeps it a lot busier. This is kind of the reason why I was staying away from Batsim a little bit uh, before, but I thought I'd... Uh, Add a little spice to okay, so episode 41. Okay, the GA ramp at San Diego, ready to pass the 27 with the weather. Yeah, 945, runway 27, taxi via Charlie. 27 via Charlie, Delta, U945. All right, so that's good. That's somebody in San Diego, which means we could end up having a little bit of a traffic advisory or routing that we'll have to contend with. Now, I'm not sure if I've shown this, but basically, we're squawking mode C. If they ask us for an ident, we have to press the ident button here. Uh, request. Request requested. Let me know when you're back on course. So we can see here that uh, yeah, yeah, what frequencies uh, are online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kilo 3307, climb maintain flight level 260. Climb maintain 260, Kilo 3307. Alaska 625, thought you were going in Sancho. And this is via the Sizzler 3 arrival. Back to. busier. Luckily we have nice uh, beautiful weather so we aren't in any problem. Center Delta 8945 ready to go D7 San Diego. We're going to go ahead now and start our Delta 8945 on that jetty. The wind. Wind is uh, 2307 when she's Take 
Just power back a little bit. Nine two Tango North Island, that perimeter two nine eight eight. You're clear to enter San Diego Class Bravo airspace. Maintain VFR. Maintaining VFR November nine zero nine two Tango. All right. So. Twenty forty two in airspace to the east service terminator frequency change approved. Albuquerque clears off line active flight. Right. We'll see you. Yeah, sixteen forty three in airspace to the north service terminated frequency change approved. Oakland Center off line active flight. Uh, we can raise the sixteen forty three Center, uh, Barrington 5433, ready to go at 25 right. Barrington 5433, Arnav Docker, wind uh, 24012, runway 25 right, clear for take. 25 right, Arnav Docker, uh, American 5433. Delta 8945, airborne crossing 4,400. Delta 8945, 3, 5,000. Delta 8945, contact, Delta 2 checks, climbing, uh, climbing via the SID. Climbing via the SID, Delta 8945. Hello, hello, good afternoon, speaker, it's a pretty quiet on that day, this is level 370. Speed Lord, uh, 44 November, heavy, Los Angeles afternoon, squawk in. Be 
Nine's in use. Three zero one at four. All right. Three zero one. Wow. Well, three zero one for the win. Still puts us at two nine as our best option. According to the program, Delphi 39 Los Angeles Center Squawk, I All right, get our speed way back now. And get ourselves. This is the American requesting flight level 26. Uh, calling again. Alpha 1185, ready for taxi information, certainly. 1185, right taxi via Bravo. 25 right via Bravo, Alpha 1185. All right, 
So, the only reason for doing what we're doing right now is we need to drop our altitude. 1092 Tango, the report is at your uh, 3 o'clock. Winter Miles, reported flight, specs read in the week. Uh, gonna do the visual for 2 9, uh, November 9092 Tango. Delta E nine forty five, call me T five zero. T seven zero, Delta E nine forty five. All right, so. Yeah, 321, send maintain 113,000, carry out to 29 or 70. Send maintain 113,000, 291, carry out to 21, thank you. Last 39 radar contact, India, Hollywood 1, arrival expect ILS 25 left approach, information Charlie Current. Roger that, we've got Charlie, expect Hollywood 1, left line, should be a Hollywood 1, 28. Hey, Los Angeles, Senator. Well, Alaska 620 at uh, Palm Springs cleared. Our nav Yankee runway 31 left approach. All right, so let's look outside. Alaska 620 to Palm Springs out. Tender 271. And flaps are going down. Los Angeles Center, QLM 3307. We're uh, hitting. Some uh, moderate turbulence, that will two six zero. Yeah, so I don't have any reported. Uh, uh, I don't have any reported turbulence in that area. Double check your uh, your showing flight level two six four. Double check your uh, squawking that your altimeter set to standard uh, and descend four hundred feet, please. Yeah, we're set to standard now, but we're uh, we're hitting some uh, pretty good updrafts right now. Um, I'm going to try to get back down, but... Okay, let me know if you want higher. I haven't, like I said, I haven't had any complaints. Uh, higher or lower, up to the crap in front of you. Roger. That's your center. Uh, center 87, 5 echo, the third one. All right, so we would be switched over to tower at this point. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get off frequency with him since we are now on final. All right, so we are in the approach mode. We are tracking our glide slope. Everything is good. So mixture prop goes. Gas is on the fullest tank. We've got three green, no red. Switches. All right, so switches. Oh, gas mixture full rich. Uh, switches. Lang light is on, all of the rights as intended, and our yaw dampener and autopilot to go. Excellent, all right. And we'll take those out. Throttling back nicely. Trim the aircraft.
right. So there you have it. We're going to go ahead and taxi clear the runway. Good thing of it being a hard surface, we can easily get off. So, that was a pretty hectic leg uh, considering all of the traffic advisories. And I really think that what we should do is just call it uh, an end to episode 41. We'll pick it back up with 42. This one will already be pretty long as it stands. So hit that like, subscribe if you haven't, and come with us on the next one when we're going to be picking up the last of the cargo that's here, and then we're going to start picking our way up the western seaboard, dropping it off. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.